In the mood to light a cozy fire in your wood stove or fireplace? No need to put on your coat and boots and trudge through the snow to the outdoor wood pile. Nowadays, you can buy a box of man-made logs. A lot less hassle for you, fewer trees die, and the environmentally friendly brands pollute less and are safer for your chimney. These artificial logs are made entirely of compressed sawdust. Their moisture content is less than 9%, compared to 30% in real firewood. The compression and dryness combine to make these man-made logs easier to light than real ones. They don't throw sparks while burning, and they produce 300% more heat than real firewood. The high temperature burns up the gases better, so the logs emit up to 50% fewer pollutants, and they produce fewer ashes and far less creosote a highly flammable tar that's a natural byproduct of wood burning. Creosote buildup in a flue can cause a chimney fire. The sawdust comes from pure natural hardwood, mostly oak and maple. The log company buys it from factories that make hardwood flooring. So from the start, these logs are ecological because they're made of recycled waste. The sawdust is clean and the log factory doesn't add chemicals, so it's safe to cook over the fire. The sawdust moisture content is so low because the wood it came from was already dried in huge ovens to make the flooring. The sawdust arrives in different consistencies, so the first step is to put it through a grinder to make the particles uniform in size. The next step is the key one, compression. At a rate of 5,500 pounds per hour, an air blowing system moves the sawdust from the grinder directly into a compression machine. The machine is a giant cylinder with a piston that moves inside. The piston compresses the sawdust using extreme high pressure, 6,000 pounds per square inch. The result is a 40-foot long compressed sawdust log. Unlike some other brands of artificial logs, this one contains no binding agents which can pollute the air. So how does the sawdust stick together then? The secret is the high compression the intense heat it creates bonds the natural resins in the sawdust. As the log exits the compression machine, a cutter shapes a flat edge. This is a safety feature. With the flat edge on the bottom, the logs are easier to stack in the recommended three log configuration and they don't roll out of position. Now a guillotine chops the 40-foot log into 40 smaller logs, each one foot long. A separator pulls them apart. The company also produces a 10-inch log. The logs drop onto a conveyor belt that leads to the packaging area. The factory boxes its logs with instructions and two fire starters. The starters are made of sawdust and candle wax, more effective than using newspaper to get the fire going. This competitor's artificial log breaks easily because it isn't as dense. This company's log, on the other hand, is more solid because it's so tightly compressed. That high density translates into more burning time. Three logs will keep your fireplace alight for about three hours.